What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Well, today while I'm eating my Nutrition Solutions festive, they call these are the ones that are called the holiday protein pancakes. They get like little colored sprinkled jimmies on them. We're gonna talk about the Peyton Manning bullshit that's going on right now. I think Jason Blaha and Mark Lobelin have both made a video about it. Um, it's a hot topic in the media right now, not just on YouTube. You guys can hear Brady running around over there. And that is whether or not Peyton Manning actually took human growth hormone to heal faster from his neck injury. Now, I don't know the facts. If I don't know who's reporting it, some kind of fucked up newspaper in like East Bumfuck somewhere. So I don't know really, really know the facts. But they also listed like um, a, a Washington Nationals baseball player on the list. There was a whole bunch of list of other athletes at this doctor or rejuvenation clinic had sold fucking and you know anabolic steroids or growth hormone or whatever to performance enhancing drugs that they're not supposed to be taking because they're supposed to be natural tested athletes in these organizations. Now, let's break it down like this. Peyton Manning did recover very quickly. Athletes in general do recover quickly. But as a whole, you know, I do believe, this is my personal opinion, I do believe the players in the NFL, players in Major League Baseball, hockey, all these different things are taking performance enhancing drugs. Hands down, there's no doubt about it. I've known some of them before. I've known some coaches that have worked with some of them before. They absolutely are taking things to recover faster. Hands down, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That's the truth. All right, I know people being politically correct and trying to, oh, he's the greatest of all, I don't give a fuck. Okay, I don't care if he's the greatest of all time. Everybody knows that I'm a huge, humongous fucking Patriots fan. Tom Brady fan. This year, there have been so many fucking injuries happening on the Patriots. And they're, they're known, the Patriots are known to find other ways that other people don't know to win fucking games. Whether it's trick plays, rule book, all you can fucking name it. All of a sudden, a bunch of their fucking players go down with strange fucking injuries. Like, all one and a half after another. But before that, they're fucking hammering teams into the fucking ground. Now, you don't think that it's possible. I mean, in my eyes, I know that steroids can weaken fucking tendons, ligaments. You can, The muscle can recover so fast that you can have problems with tendons, ligaments. Injuries happen that you know normally wouldn't happen when you're on different kind of performance enhancing drugs. Is it possible that the Patriots, okay, I'm just speculating, could possibly have some kind of fucking drug that they're using with their organization that makes their muscles recover so fast it can cause like fucking foot breaks, ankle breaks, the most random fucking injuries to people that, you know, I've never even fucking seen anything like it before this year, ever. Not a fucking, never seen a team have that many people fucking go down like that and then recover so fucking fast. Julian Edelman broke his fucking foot. He's going to be playing in the, in the postseason. He's scheduled to come back in the postseason. How the I, I realize they come back, but you make bone, bone growth fucking happen at a faster rate. There's just something fishy about the way this shit goes down. I do remember there was a uh, NFL documentary about some of the old-time players who got addicted to different painkillers because they were given fucking painkillers to go back and keep playing the fucking game. Now, I do also remember in fucking high school, Emmett Smith, I remember this very clearly because I was so fucking confused how this could happen because I wasn't pervy yet to the performance enhancing drugs and what they could do. Emmett Smith tore his fucking hamstring in the first quarter of a game. And he came back and played in the final fucking quarter with a torn hamstring and still fucking was able to move and juke and jive and do all the fucking shit he did. And he was amazing. And I was like, how the fuck, you know, they pumped him full of fucking painkillers. That's how he was able to come back. And he was able to recover with the other performance enhancing drugs they gave him. There was a uh, RG3 who was a, is a quarterback for the Washington Redskins right now. He's the one that was like the fucking savior that wound up fucking sucking. He tore his fucking knee up in a game. And he came off the fucking field and he's like this. He's like, oh, oh. And they're like helping him off the fucking field. He could barely walk. At the end of the game, he went in the back. At the end of the game, he was walking with the coach with his arm around the coach. Like this. Didn't appear to have any pain in his fucking leg. He did have a fucking torn whatever it was. Have surgery and all that bullshit. But the bottom line is between where he tore it and the end of the game, he looked like he had no pain. They pumped him full of painkillers. They're not supposed to do shit like that. Absolutely, these guys are on fucking drugs. Now... Do I personally think Peyton Manning fucking took the growth hormone? Fuck yes, I personally think he took the growth hormone. There's no fucking way that his wife is getting this shit shipped to her. And there's like, oh, medical, confidence, HIPAA fucking, all this bullshit that they can't fucking track it. You know what? Bottom line is if he's breaking a fucking rule, then if he gets caught, he should pay the fucking piper. If he's not breaking the rule, then they just can't prove it. No, but do I give a fuck if he took it? No, I want that mother to fuck her to load up on 30 IUs of growth hormone a day. I want him to take fucking 1,000 milligrams of test a day. I want him to take fucking Anadrol. I want him to take fucking SARMs. I want him to take fucking blockers. I want him to take every single fucking thing that he can take 
to see him fucking play more and break more records. I want to see fucking Tom Brady take every fucking drug under the sun. I want to see fucking, it doesn't even matter, fucking Michael Vick. I don't give a fuck who it is. I want them all to take every drug available to them because I want to see feats of fucking greatness from fucking human beings that cannot be achieved on a fucking high school team or a Pop Warner team or any bullshit. I want to see greatness achieved to where the body is such an amazing fucking machine and it recovers so well that you do things that you never thought the fucking human body would do. That's amazing to me. That's what I want to see in the pros. There's no level above fucking the NFL, above the pro football. So why not give them fucking, you know, say, look, here's the deal. He wasn't using a performance enhancement. He was using it to fucking heal. Once he was healed, he came off of it. The effects fucking go away. He's not going to have the same recovery ability when he comes off of it when he starts playing again. So therefore, it is not giving him an edge. Now, if he was taking it while he was playing and didn't really need it to recover and he was already recovered, that's a whole different story. But I think there's definitely... You know, some shady shit going on. I think it fucking... Everybody passes those fucking tests, hands down. There's no fucking doubt about it. I've had NFL players at my fucking gym, and I've seen them whip themselves into shape. Not like fucking, oh, you know, they're just a professional athlete. No, I've seen them whip, whip themselves into shape that comes at a fucking drug pace. I've used drugs for years. I understand what this fucking looks like. I understand when I talk to them, some of the things that they talk to me about. Drugs, okay? So let's face facts. The shit's going on. Did he take it? I personally think he took it. Does it make him a bad person? Fuck no, because I would do the same exact thing and I would expect anybody in his position to do it. And I don't think it's cheating because he was probably off it by the time he hit the fucking field again. He was not having the same recovery ability. And anybody that's ever taken growth hormone knows you do not see the effects of the fucking recovery and bullshit like that when you come off it for a couple months. After a couple months, it's fucking gone. I don't give a shit what anybody says. I wish that more people would actually go on shit than come off it so they could actually see that you can't fucking keep the gains. Like everybody thinks, oh, the gains are yours to keep after you fucking gain them. Bullshit. I say fucking come off for six months, eat and fucking diet, don't go on any HCG, don't go on anything to fucking bridge it. Come back after six months and tell me how much that fucking stuff stuck. Biosetrading at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosetrading.com is a blog. It's who gives a fee fucking took it bicep and we're out.